Hey y'all, Shafe here. Listen, I've heard the requests and or ransom demands, so today we're finally gonna do it. We're gonna take a look at... Over the Hedge. This is a copy of Kanamari Damasi. Damn it! Now, the one hang up here is that I was recently diagnosed with a condition called unoriginality, meaning for the next 24 hours, I can only communicate through the style of other popular YouTubers. But don't worry about that! I'm sure this won't have any effect on my opinion whatsoever. So, let's destroy my credibility and watch Over the Hedge. This was a terrible movie and I deeply regret watching it. Over the Hedge is one of the worst movies I've ever talked about on this channel. And I've talked about Shark Tale and The Rise of Skywalker. Which might actually be worse than both of these movies if we're being honest. They fly now! But regardless, I really feel like people are letting their fond nostalgic memories of this film cloud their judgement to a ridiculous degree. And to be honest, I don't know what all of you expected me to get out of it. Yeah, I grew up watching it, same as all of you, but I've never been shy to be a critic of nostalgic properties before. I guess you could call me some sort of reminiscence detractor or something like that. But there are plenty of films from my childhood that hold up as an adult. So what is it about Over the Hedge that doesn't exactly hold up? Well, it's quite simple, really. It's cliche as all hell and it does the whole you lied to me subplot, which is something I absolutely hate in mediocre animated movies. Now, I know what you're gonna comment. You are nitpicking and biased. I win, bye bye. But actually, if you really think about it, over the hedge sucking complete doo doo wiener is actually an objective fact. Think about it. This is a movie with not good characters. The entire story kicks off because Rocket Raccoon steals a food from Winnie the Pooh, as pictured here. I'm gonna have to kill you. Now, the only reason he did this is because this vending machine did not give him the cheese puffs. But then, after he destroys the food by summoning a truck and gets in horrible debt, then he gets the cheese puffs from the vending machine. I th 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 what? Why didn't he just get that before? Better question, why does the Michael Scott squirrel want to name the hedge Steve? Who is that a reference to? Steve Buscemi? Kids don't know who that is. The fact that the movie thinks this is funny is a comedic joke. And unfortunately, the movie was not in on the joke. One of the biggest piles of ass play in this movie is the ending gag. <laughs> yes. This is the Nakey Jakey segment of the video, but I don't have a green screen or good editing skills. But I did have this exercise ball, and I know how to put sound effects in a video. Whatever, it's April Fool's Day, man, who cares? So Over the Hedge presents us with a pretty solid joke in its last act, as all the villains get annihilated by this big ass... I couldn't think of a joke here, so I uh, asked Twitter for suggestions. This camo-colored shit hydrobot yeah, that, that's good. Thank you for that, Solo Mail, and a few others. Free your skin. And it elicits a beam so powerful that it can be seen from space. Hey, uh, Houston? Okay, you're, you're gonna laugh. And it's a problem because this beam is only allowed to come from Houston. And El Paso, and Austin, basically anywhere in Texas. I could've just said Texas. I apologize for that. Because they set up earlier in the movie that this mean man pajama is so powerful that it's only legal in Texas. <laughs> Yeehaw. So since the movie took the time to establish that this bitch means business, the payoff of the joke just works. Because it makes sense to our dumb 8 year old brains and our dumb 22 year old brains. It's a good joke except oh wait a minute, no it's not because they did the same joke earlier in the movie with no build up for a bag of cheese puffs. What the shit? All right, I was gonna do a girlfriend no. review segment next, but I don't have a girlfriend, so me and my self-partnered ass are gonna hop on Friendster right after this is over. Wakanda forever, stay safe out there, kids. Anyway, I want to quickly discuss the ending of the movie, so if you care about spoilers for this 14-year-old movie, there's your warning, I guess. 3, 2, 1. So at the end of this movie, the animals remember, Oh wait, I guess we don't have any food for winter anymore. But then the squirrel says, Wait guys, don't worry, I filled the log up with nuts. But when the f- 
did that happen? It's like the writers realized, oh shit, I guess the animals don't have food anymore. We better throw this in just in case the kids notice and start crying. Whatever. Overall, this movie was pretty bad. I don't know why you all wanted me to review this, since it was pretty obvious going in that I wouldn't like it. DreamWorks doesn't exactly have a good track record with many of their standalone animated features. So yeah, don't bother checking this one out. It's not very good at all. And I'm giving this one a 2 out of 10. It's closer to a 3 than a 1, if that makes you feel better. Thank you. Well, Patrick, I'm glad the Over the Hedge video is finally done so people can stop commenting about it. Wait, I thought I was gonna be Mike. Come on, it's not important who plays Mike. Besides, I'm Mike. I'm always Mike. Did you get that? That was an Over the Hedge reference. Laugh, damn it! Oh hey, I just got a lot of presumably very happy comments. Very happy. Very happy. Very happy. Wait, what? These people are all telling me to re-review the movie once this unoriginality disease wears off. Oh my god. And on top of that, now I'm getting requests for a Madden 08 2 review? I Hate Mars Bars? A third LEGO Star Wars video? Insert highly requested Nakey Jakey video here? A Lion King 2019 review? And a Plinket review of Rise of Skywalker? Well James, the only thing left to do is give the people what they want. That's right, Patrick. It's time to review Katamari Damacy! <laughs> <laughs>